Pisces, thank you guys so much for coming back to my channel. Happy Valentine's Day, guys. We're going to go ahead and get started with your reading. See what we have for you today. If you guys are new, please like and subscribe. All right, so this is the first thing that came out for you, Pisces. Ace of Swords. There is some truth that needs to be told, some truth that is hidden. Um, so confusion I'm seeing here. I do feel like you guys are getting over a heartbreak. You guys are trying to recover from it. You guys have been thinking about what has happened in the past, but I definitely see there is going to be some truth that um, and clarity that will be coming in for you. Let's go ahead and get some more cards for you, Pisces. Okay, very good. So we have the Six of Wands, we have the Queen of Cups, ooh, and we have someone is giving up juggling, okay? Um, I do believe here that someone was, you know, juggling prior, you, someone else. This is also talking about feelings, no longer, you know, staying in the state of, you know, an emotional roller coaster, no longer having your good days and your down days. It's just becoming too much for you, right? And so you're like, I'm giving it all up. It's hard. I can't deal with this anymore. I just got to let it be. Okay. At the bottom of the deck, you are a catch. Please remember that. A lot of what you guys are about to experience, you're going to be, you know, someone's it, right? They're going to see you for who you are. They're going to take care of you. And a lot of you, you've been waiting for this for so long. You've been waiting on your person. You've been waiting for them to come in and it will. You know, some of it has something to do with mentality. What's the truth to you, Pisces? Okay. And a lot of you guys are going to experience that. You have the love in your heart. You have the compassion here. You have everything that you need. And that's that one thing. Okay that you've been missing in your life that I feel like, you know, is coming in for you. So I'm going to go ahead and get some more cards for you, Pisces. Okay, let's go ahead. Let's move this out the way. At the bottom of the deck, money is going to be really good here. Finances here with the Ten of Pentacles. Some of you guys have been struggling financially, juggling, trying to figure out how finances is going to work for you guys. I see that working well. Here at the bottom of the deck, not the bottom of the deck. This is the first one that came out, rather. The Knight of Swords. So remember, I was saying that someone is going to bring in clarity for you. And I'm seeing that there is going to be someone that needs to tell you the truth, okay? Some of you guys are, you know, running to this. This is where you guys are headed. You guys are running very quickly, you know, to victory here because of the um, Ace of Swords. I see victory energy. I feel like someone has been missing you. And I feel like you guys have been having something missing from your heart. That's what I was saying earlier. Here, you guys are going to be working together with someone. No more fighting. No more fussing. I definitely feel that um, this weight of um, what you guys have been feeling is going to be lifted. This is talking about being relieved of something here. And justice is here on the board. That is amazing. <laughs> so you guys have a lot to look forward to. I definitely see clarity, victory for you. Um, I see fulfillment, success financially too. So, you know, this is a Valentine's read. So not, I'm going to try not to focus on finances right now, but I definitely see as far as long-term committed relationship is what I'm saying for you. Okay. Um, you know, someone has to apologize. They've done some things. Maybe there are some secrets here with the high priestess. And that's the reason why that sword is partially covered. Okay. Because some truth is being hidden. So let's go ahead and get the Ace of Swords. Now you guys are good. You guys are very intuitive. You can find anything out. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get the Ace of Swords for you. Oh, hey, man. So I like the fact that here there's not going to be a delay any longer. You guys have been waiting 
for some kind of, you know, truth to be told something here. Um, and I feel like now, you know, there's going to be someone coming in, there's going to be a conversation, no more delay in what you guys may have been expecting. Because part of that three of wands that we saw earlier, some of you guys were waiting for someone to come in so you guys can explain, for, so they can explain, so you can get out your feelings. And I definitely see that. Here with the Queen of Pentacles, I'm still seeing finances and I'm also seeing an offer, okay? Let's go ahead and get the Six of Wands. Oh yeah, here we go. There is the reconciliation. It's a lot of reconciliations in everyone's reading lately. It's been amazing, okay? Because people are starting to really feel that retrograde energy. <laughs> but I really do feel like there's going to be a huge change for you. I feel like someone has been thinking about things. But in general for you, there's going to be a huge change in your life. And I feel like you're going to be very successful in general. Um, so just be prepared for this. I'm saying that for all signs. Be prepared for these big changes that are occurring. Let's go ahead and get the Queen of Cups for you, Pisces. Yeah, Ten of Pentacles. This is amazing. So you see how fulfilled, like the Queen is sitting there. Now we understand why the Queen of Pentacles was there. Like there's so much stuff that's going to be given to you and it's going to be like unbelievable. Like, I can't believe I'm here. That's how it's going to be. Remember, there's things that have ended. So now, not only have you transformed mentally, there are new beginnings starting for you. And this is amazing. I see a lot of commitment here. I see a lot of, a lot of things that you have been dealing with. That's going to be over and done. All that rocky road that you've been experiencing, those, you know, uh, riding those really wild waves, over and done. <laughs> Let's get the two of pentacles. Yeah, someone here, they're definitely giving up this juggling here. They were juggling you and other people. This knight is ready to come in and apologize, okay? Some of you guys have given up on them because you didn't, you never thought that they would change. And I feel like this person's going to come in. They've had time to think, you know, here it talks about the universe, you know, allowing them time to gain balance over their life. Wow, okay. Let's go ahead. Let's get this knight of swords. And they're coming in really quickly. Yeah, more committal. This is reliability, someone that you can rely on here, okay? At the bottom of the deck. They know that you're beautiful and that you're so valuable, that you're about your, you're about, you know, taking care of you, whatever you have, whether, you know, if you're a single mother or if you're a single woman, you take care of yourself and everything that you have. And they see that, that value-ness, that valuable trait inside of you. Five of Pentacles. Yeah, they were sneaky. Look at them. Oh, they turn real cold on you. They just start acting funny. Here with the with the moon, they had secrets. This is also saying that they felt a little depressed without you too, though. They felt a little sad without you. And I don't really think that they knew that that was going to happen. I feel like it kind of like happened, you know, like unsuspectingly. Like, oh yeah, I could do whatever I want because they were so used to doing it. And now I was like, man, I didn't think I was going to miss them. <laughs> and they did. So let's go ahead and get this 10 of wands. All these 10s for brand new beginnings. Sorry, I got to keep touching this computer. All right, let's go ahead and get this 10 of wands. Oh, yeah. Balancing out. Things are going to work in its time. That's here what the temperance card is saying. Things are going to work in its time when it's time for it to happen. And you're going to get all of these beautiful things here. And then at the bottom of the deck, we have love, ace of cups. I knew it. I felt it. I knew you guys were going to get love coming in. And for a lot of you, this will be somewhere from the past because they do have a lot of love for you. They really do. Some of you guys may have already been in a long-term committed relationship with this person anyway. Um, and so you're talking about regretful energy is heavy. And this is why they're coming in apologizing. So let's go ahead and get the justice card for you, Pisces. Oh, yeah. They love you. They definitely have love for you. And they're... Ooh. Depression. Depression. I said depression. <laughs> depression here. Oh, yeah. That's their tower. I mean, it was bad. Oof. 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 So you're going to get karmic justice and justice for this. This person is definitely going to apologize for what they've done because you were not joking, Pisces. I love the fact that this is clarifying your energy. 
So Pisces, we're going to go ahead and get this I Ching of love. We're going to get some few cards from here for um, Valentine's because we see they're coming in and they are going to, oof. They're going to try to do whatever they can for you. They really are. I feel their energy too. Let me see. This is for Pisces. Give me a message for Pisces. Thank you. One. Give me another one, please. Absolutely. Fullness. We see it with both of those those uh two those those uh two of uh what is it called? Pentacles. Absolutely. Look at this. This is what's called the tomb of love. Arguments, separation, disagreements. It sure is the tomb of love, okay? Now, this first one came out fullness. This is what you guys are going to experience. I always turn it over so you guys can see it. Let me see. I don't know if you can see it. So fullness is where I see that you guys are going anyway. Um, this is talking about change. Five, five. Definitely talking about change here. Here, the innocence of the child. Innocence of a child. A lot of you guys were very naive to this person's behavior in the beginning. Or maybe you really didn't know how they were. Um, you guys were, you know, just just there you're willing to do whatever you want you, you need it in order to make this situation work okay um but i do believe even some of you guys may have children by them also that's what i feel and here it talks about intimate meeting so we see it we see it all through your reading i definitely see someone coming in here for you and i feel like it is going to be a very intimate time and it could happen on sunday or before but i definitely see this coming in for you regardless so Pisces, this is your reading. Thank you guys so much. This was your Valentine. And I'm telling you, on, from, on I'm going to try to, on Sunday, put out a Valentine reading for you guys. But this is your reading. Thank you guys so much for coming to my channel. I love you guys. Bye.